Hi there, a new video. I've had some people say they'd like to see more of the 29 Cadillac 341B Roadster, so I'll take a few minutes here to um, do a little more in-depth video of the car. This uh, restoration was done um, about five years ago now, and uh, the car is just a, kind of a driver, enjoyable car to drive. It'll go 55, 60 miles an hour, although it, uh, it's more comfortable at uh, 50 or 45, 50. You shouldn't uh, really strain the old cars anymore. They're not, uh, they're not out there to be running on the freeway and so forth. So anyway, let's get back to the car. Um, 341 cubic inch V8 flathead. That's a, uh, an aluminum block down there in the crankcase with the uh, iron cylinders and heads bolted to the crankcase. The carburetors and updraft uh, Johnson carburetor down in there underneath the uh, cover and you see the porcelain exhaust manifolds across the top. Um, the fuel system is uh, supplied by a vacuum pump. That's uh, This is a vacuum um, fuel pump there it works on engine vacuum the engine itself also has an auxiliary vacuum pump down below there the little black round dome is a uh, little piston powered vacuum pump run off the back of the camshaft this has a dual clutch disc assembly in it and a three-speed transmission Cadillac's first year of a full synchronized um, transmission well actually it's second and third gear synchronized first gear still not there uh, they come with a with a uh, underhood um, emergency light that you can turn on if you need to do some nighttime maintenance under the hood I'll uh, close the hood now yeah these are the correct colors of hoses that's what they're supposed to be for 29 the red hose. They didn't have the black hose until a little bit later. So I'll set that down. Flaxen horn has uh, two cowl vents on top. This is a uh, Fisher body. They had a Fleetwood body and a Fisher body in 1929. They offered 50 different body styles. About 500 different color combinations were available in 1929. This is an original color combination, apple green and uh, cream. Uh, when we restored it, went pretty in-depth, even the wiring underneath the dash is all uh, hand-tied. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's all uh, hand-tied like they did back in the, in the day. And the car does have a full-top side curtain, curtain irons. It can close up the car pretty well for winter driving. And uh, so we get to the uh, uh, wire wheels which was also an option and uh, 20 inch wire wheels um, it has uh, their mechanical brakes it has all kinds of compound linkage to uh, give real good braking power stops pretty well notice the uh, Delco Remy shocks here the we just came back from a test drive and sort of the, the shutter doors are open, they're thermostatically controlled. And of course you see the flying lady there and the Cadillac um, crest. When the car was restored, it was every nut and bolt we did on the car, so that means the entire chassis of the car is also done. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that uh, from the side. Bumpers are triple plated front and back. All finished off very nicely. These side doors, this, uh, this one is uh, the battery box door. The rear is just a dummy cover actually. On the other side there's a toolbox, a tool kit in there. And uh, it's, it's got a toolkit, it's in there. Open the door and has the little step light that comes on. And of course the leather interior, all the gauges. 
runs pretty cool. You see the gauge right now, temperature is about 160. Has good oil pressure when it's running, about uh, 30 pounds pressure. Electric windshield wiper motor. First here for the Roadster to have electric wipers. I gotta remember to hold this thing closer to me so that uh, you can hear what I'm saying. There's a storage compartment underneath here. And of course, the golf bag door. There's a page from the original brochure showing some of the colors and the 50 body styles and 500 color and upholstery combinations. I've got it open so you can see the rumble seat area here. And uh, that explains the step plate here, here, and here to get up into the car. These are a steel body over a wood frame, all hand made. Luggage rack for the uh, trunk. They really had a actual trunk that you could carry away into your uh, hotel room, motel room, whatever. And we have the trunk, of course, with fitted luggage. So in the folded down position like this, you put the trunk in it and it, uh, it ties to the uh, this frame with, with uh, leather belt straps. Controls. Um, you can actually manually advance or retard the ignition with this and this is a uh, uh, exhaust heat that will uh, shut off the exhaust bypass it will put more heat in the carburetor for cold days and the cold weather we're out here in California don't need to use that at all and then headlight switches and different controls for different uh, accessories there so uh, again I'm gonna try to well, I'll, I'll look at the windshield first here. Look at all the different pieces in this windshield. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of pieces going on there. All of them had to be plated and fitted, refinished. Some are are uh, brass, uh, some are steel, some are white metal. All had to be redone and restored. Okay, under the car, everything's done. Stainless exhaust, it's all wrapped for uh, quietness and uh, just like it uh, would have been done when it was new, when, when the manufacturers took a lot of pride in their work. This is art, rolling art. You can just look at the, uh, the uh, side mount tire pieces, all of the little brackets and things going on here just to make everything look nice and smooth and uh, we'll get another shot under here so now we're kind of wrapping up here I'll back off so you can see the the whole car There you have it, 1929 Cadillac, 341B Roadster.